to contribute to Heritage Helper. First of all, go to gitlab.com, sign in, sign up, whatever. Uh, give me one minute. I'll just delete this repository so that I can show you how to do it from scratch. Settings, general. I'll just delete this project. <coughs> now we're going to Developer Students Club TSC Heritage slash Actions on Google slash heritage helper you of course need to sign up and sign in to your gitlab account for this after you have done that you can uh, go to this url gitlab.com slash tsc heritage then you can simply navigate to the actions on google track then navigate to heritage helper the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a fork okay and this uh, the first exercise was designed to show you the entire process so first of all you'll go to issues and you'll see a list of issues you'll see that add contributor profiles so this is kind of the place where you first say that I am going to work on this So first of all, you have to say that I am working on this and like add some message like expect a merge request in the next 30 minutes or so. So what this issue is about, this issue is about the purpose of this issue and for merge requests to be accepted, these need to like, you need to have a professional photo, a small intro. Usually the issues will be more descriptive. This issue was already described within the session itself, that which is why this is not as descriptive as that and below that we have a discussion on this issue so just suppose I commented this and now what I need to do is you need to fork it to your own repository at this moment is it is inside the DSC heritage repository so you go to heritage helper and there you'll find this fork button as soon as you fork it and you fork it as your own personal <coughs> self you'll see that now heritage helper is in Ravish ME and it has been said that it's forked from DSC heritage slash actions on google slash heritage helper now the next thing that you need to do is you need to clone it to your local repository so copy this URL to your clipboard and inside this folder I work from this folder whatever your working folder is you like open an item like open a terminal in that window and do a git clone so so when you git clone and paste the url that you had like gitlab.com slash your repository name and then heritage helper.git press enter what it will do is it will clone the entire repository to heritage to a local folder so if you refresh this
okay i guess i was in the wrong folder heritage helper got cloned over here so i'll just delete this go back to the folder i wanted to be in okay so now i am in the right folder now i'll do a git clone command v command v okay so the repository url was not in the clipboard command v <laughs> so finally if you do an ls you'll see that there's a hack zero one there's a heritage helper and there's a selfie tendons now what you need to do is you need to go to your actions console console dot actions dot google dot com this is the url you need to go to console dot actions dot google dot com and kind of add a new project and name it my heritage helper or something like p a f y c my no just my heritage helper the language will be united states and you you live in india right so create the project you can skip this and this is your new project now don't worry about the invocation at this moment because uh, all you need to do is use the simulator so this isn't the actual heritage helper project this is your own side project that helps you test out the code that you will be contributing to it similarly you have this within the actions we created our first action and we started with a custom intent custom intent as soon as we click build it moved us to a dialog flow project inside the dialog flow project you have this you have to create a my heritage helper project whose agent like this agent will be linked with this project the moment you press create you have some intents and you have some entities so the next step is to import all the intents and entities from your local folder so upload intent choose file navigate to your code folder and we are doing intents right so you will go to intents and individually pick and overwrite each and every intent so now when you go to intent you will have all this how to where is who is 
default fallback intent default welcome intent similarly we will do this with the entities create an entity no we won't create an entity we'll upload entity choose file and we'll go back to heritage helper and then we'll go to entities and then we'll add these entities one by one and now when you go to entities you'll see that these entities are over here <coughs> So just, I'll just pretend that this wasn't here. What I need to do according to this issue, issue in the actual DSC heritage issues. is that we want to add to the list of entities and we need to provide a proper fulfillment for it so in the list of entities I'll like write R A V E E S H press tab and press tab okay now try to not include we can either press enter and add more people over here but we don't have I just have to add my own name for now so this is what will be passed on to get the fulfillment now I go to the fulfillment and first I'll have to click the save button once it's saved I'll need to go to the fulfillment option and instead of an inline editor I'll enable the webhook actually no what I'll do is I'll enable the inline editor and press deploy for once okay this will automatically create your own firebase project and deploy this in the functions provision after the deployment is complete Okay, let's explore the project file still then. Uh, the heritage helper has three things. Intents, functions, and entities. Functions is nothing but Firebase Cloud functions. So what you'll need is, you'll need n Node.js installed. So let's check whether I have that or not. command v 
NVM this is for node version manager and this is for the node package manager so what the best way to install node is first install node version manager then install node package manager and then like in this folder we'll do and then you also need to install firebase tools so for that the command is npm install global firebase tools so what it will do is it will just install this command called firebase tools everywhere where npm and nvm are available to the global cache npm install also updates the firebase tools so this will also update my firebase tools now since this has been deployed click on view execution logs in the firebase console and it will directly take you to the firebase project that is responsible for providing fulfillment to this dialog flow project so what's happening is action is listing this dialog flow project as a welcome intent and then there's a dialog flow project over here and then there's a my heritage helper firebase project that is linked to the dialog flow project as a fulfillment as soon as we change the code on this functions it will give an error that something changed out of this and it will automatically like enable the webhook so when you enable a custom webhook it will directly use this the URL is my heritage helper 3e6ab.cloudfunctions.net slash dialog flow firebase fulfillment which is actually this dialog flow firebase fulfillment cloud functions so now that my cloud functions are updated I'll do a firebase init inside the folder checking to see if we are inside the heritage helper folder which we are now what we need to do is we need to run a firebase init command so we'll just run firebase init and as you can see that there is already a firebase.json in it so it will automatically okay so first I need to log in to my firebase account so as I did firebase login do I want firebase to collect anonymous and error reporting information I would like to help the firebase team so I'll say yes I have to sign in with my Google account we need to allow this I can now safely close this window since it login was successful command line also says that it's a success logged in as now I can run firebase in it first of all you'll see that you're about to initialize a firebase project in this directory before we get started keep in mind you are initializing in an existing firebase project directory okay so first I'll just press command Q command C I guess control X is and whatever worked so first of all I'll do LSA and see that there is already a firebase RC file over here if you open the firebase RC file
you'll see that Firebase RC has a default project installed. So what I'll do is I'll just remove rm dot Firebase RC. I just removed that Firebase RC file. Uh, you can also use this with Visual Studio Code. I think that would be an easier experience. So just switching to VS Code for this. And closing iterm. Open folder and go to the heritage helper folder open this folder so you could have simply deleted the dot firebase rc from here now since that isn't here anymore we can simply go to the terminal and this will do kind of the same things that we used to do in that Mac terminal so just fire base in it it will initialize the firebase project so I need firebase cloud functions for now and then I'll press enter first let's associate this project directly with a firebase project so you'll need to i'll need to pick one of these which at this moment is we are using this my heritage helper project press enter i want to write my cloud functions in javascript yes i want to use the eslint to catch bugs Do I don't want to override my existing Firebase package.json. I don't want to override the eslint.json. And I don't want to overwrite index.js as well. But I do want to install the dependencies with npm. What this does is functions has a file called package.json in this package.json all the node modules that are needed for running this app are mentioned inside the dependencies it will download the actions on google sdk firebase admin sdk firebase functions sdk and it will download and in put everything inside this node modules folder after downloading and extracting all this bunch of data uh, this index.json is where we are making the changes so what we need to do next is we need to provide fulfillment for this for now what you need to do is this like I'll pretend that this block didn't exist okay so I'll just delete it and this uh, treat this as an example now this is a JSON object people in which the key is this web hub and the value is this block from here to here this block is also a JSON object which has a text property a buttons property a title a URL an image so what we need to do is we need to copy this whole block and press enter and paste it if you right click and uh, format document it will all come to the same line the next thing that you need to do is we were in chrome and we were in our dialog flow project we added an entity right we added an entity to the person thing we added this Ravish Agarwal over here so go back to entities and download a backup for this via this as, as a CSV format and then again go to my code 
dsc heritage helper and go to entities and just save it and if it asks that you if you want to replace it replace it so what it did is inside entities person.csv has changed as you can see now the next thing that we need to do is we need to take this person.csv and we need to provide fulfillment for just the first part which is this this part I'll just copy go to my entities no index.js and here I'll paste now I need to provide something for the button something for the image and something for the text part so what I recommend is like what we need for you to do for your merge request to be accepted is you need to have a LinkedIn profile that's number one you need to have a proper DP that's number two and you need to have a proper career objective statement so this is my career objective statement I've written it in a course of more than a year or something keep it less than 50 words and make it enough to like tell people everything that you are about this statement tells people everything which I am about so that will be in the text description I'll just paste it and see what's going on okay so this is the text response now in button I don't want any FB pages it can be your stack overflow profile or LinkedIn profile or github repo in button URL this I'll give the link to the for the image what I'll do is I'll open image in new tab and I'm tempted to just copy and paste this but I'll try to do better I'll I kind of need to Okay, this is the photo and hmm, I need a photo of me uploaded to some place. So let's check facebook.com. Let's check github.com. Okay, we also have like uh, 
this is this isn't big enough either I'll go to plus dot google dot com I'll go to my photos photos of me uh -huh. not working yeah I can download this from here right I want to download this save as web page no. download What happens when I get link? Mm. Let's see what happens when this link is pressed. Okay, that's not a really nice way to do things. What I need to do is I need to go to options and download this photo as profile and then save it to my pictures directory now I have a pictures directory now I need to search for some free image hosting service which will just be imgbb.com works start uploading you don't even need to sign in and you can just go to pictures and so you need a proper photo which is kind of zoomed up to your face is perfectly square and uh, bright so you know what a good photo looks like you can just upload it and you have a URL so HTML full linked you'll see that you have this image URL you just need to copy that much so for that you can also kind of and then just paste it in here and the next thing is In all attribute, so use backslash to escape the. See, it starts with a single quote. So if you want to use a single quote within the string, you need to use a backslash to escape the interpretation of the single quote. 
so now since we have this like we are providing fulfillment for Avish Agarwal we have a text I'll just format the document once again and like we have almost all that we need the next step is to save this document and run firebase deploy so as soon as you run firebase deploy this function gets deployed to this project which is your firebase project first of all it starts checking whether you have made any bugs or something like that and when there aren't any bugs you'll see that this is getting deployed and once it is successful you can test your action in the actions console because we already have uh, added the person.csv and we already have added the So, we're back to the actions console and within the actions console we have this simulator. Go to simulator and start testing. Press talk to my test app. All right, getting the test version of my test app. I am the Heritage Helper, your assistant <coughs> to all things Heritage. Try asking me a question, like, where can I find the principal? Amazing. Let's find Ravi Jagarwal, entrepreneur, software craftsman, and technology enthusiast. I have established, led, worked with, and consulted teams and growing corporations. I continue to solve problems and grow with my projects, partnerships, and endeavors. As you can see, uh, almost everything works. And like you can even have a 16 is to 9 or 3 is to 4, some 16 is to 9 photo of yourself instead of having a square. I think I made a mistake over there. But apart from that, everything works now what I need you to do is since I can't test that you have successfully completed or not like I don't have access to your simulator you just need to give me a screenshot of this much as long as you give me a screenshot of this much save it whatever format don't care and you kind of need to push it to your repository like you need to add a branch like get status and there are files that have been modified now you need to do a git commit a but before that you want a git checkout b for checking out a new branch and the name of the branch will be and now I'll just do a git commit a with a message messages Adds the fulfillment for Ravish and also modifies the entities. That done, it has now when I run get status, you'll see that working tree is clean, which means all changes have been committed. 
and then run git log you'll see that your introducing Ravish and head is one commit ahead of the origin master origin head and master now quit it and just run git push upstream origin introducing Ravish so what it will do is in your GitLab ravish.me slash heritage helper you'll see that you pushed introducing Ravish 17 seconds ago create a merge request okay inside this you just need to add this screenshot this will let me know that it is working perfectly and you can even preview this and if you want to change branches you have to just take it that it is going from your repo to the DSC heritage repo and just submit merge request copy the address of this merge request like I made a mistake after the screenshot you will need to address the issue number the third issue this is the issue number 3 right so this addresses issue number 3 this much as soon as you save changes you'll see that inside the issues discussion in merge request 8 this was done so from here I can go to the merge request 8 and see what's happening so I can see that yeah this is working yeah this is working and I can simply do the merge I can also see the changes actually keyword files have changes I can see the changes in firebase rc okay so we can either edit this right on the uh, or I'll change the Firebase RC file. I don't care about that. Persons or CSV, I can see that this has been deleted and this has been changed. Like we can see the changes over here. I'll just accept this merge request and remove the source branch. And that is how you get a merge request into the actual DSC heritage slash heritage helper and now you'll see that inside heritage helpers co course you'll see the last like merge branch introducing revision to master so now it will contain all the required fulfillments inside the functions so this was the basic workflow which you need to repeat again and again to gain like to be able to contribute to heritage helper you introduce yourself to practice this workflow for the first time and like after this you will be practicing this workflow again and again we will guide you through this and we will build heritage helper at a very fast pace together so Let's get going.